Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you 11 online business ideas that actually help people, actually make the world a better place, can actually impact people's lives in a way that helps them improve their quality of life instead of just starting another entertainment business, which is great and all, but I mean, how many more forms of entertainment do we really need? We need more people that can motivate people, inspire people, prepare people, educate people, and help people save time, get rid of stress, and just improve people's daily lives and make the future look a little bit better. So the first way that you can do this through an online business that is internet-based is with a blog. So obviously blogging is something that's been around a long time now and there are many very good established blogs that help people a lot so if you want to start a blog I have a page that helps you do that in just a few steps with Bluehost this is about the cheapest way and it's very reliable but it's about the cheapest way to start a WordPress blog so if you want to do that you can start a WordPress blog in three steps it uses Bluehost. The reason I picked Bluehost is because they are one of the biggest ones out there. They give you a good price. They also give you a domain when you do this. So they also have good customer support. But you don't have to use WordPress. If you don't want to use WordPress, you don't want all the customization and stuff like that with WordPress, then you could even try Wix, which is like a drag and drop website builder. But it seems like the majority of the top blogs, um, the more established websites now, are being built by WordPress. I mean, they, they take up about 30% of the internet entirely now. So it, it's up to you. But if you want to start a blog, I'd recommend like one of those two options. And if you want like an example of a blog that really helps people, I like lifehack.org. So they have all kinds of stuff about psychology, being more productive, being healthier, um, improving relationships, improving your overall lifestyle. They have motivation to keep you going, stuff to help you get more done at work or to find a better job for yourself, how to communicate with people better. They have all kinds of different stuff to cover on here, but it's not meant to just, you know, entertain you it's actually meant to help you improve your life that's why they call it lifehack.org you're finding ways to improve your life that you may not have thought of before so I recommend you look at some you know things on lifehack you might click on a random article and read it and then you just get hooked in many cases because then it has other articles related to that that you might enjoy and it's just a really good place with lots of different types of content and resources that are free to help you improve your life. Um, another thing you can do to actually help people while keeping this business internet based is to start a YouTube channel. Now you can also start a channel on other video sites. Um, you can start like a twitch.tv channel which is basically showing people how to play video games which is great. You can educate people on video games but you know that's really more entertainment this video is all about helping people's lives and of obviously there's also Vimeo there's also daily motion but they don't get as much traffic or even close to as much traffic as YouTube so I still recommend you start a YouTube channel if you're gonna start a video channel um, a few examples of course it's pretty easy to start a YouTube channel you just make sure you have a Gmail account and then you go up here to upload a video as you can see this little arrow here in the top right corner um, and then you can drag and drop videos there whether you did them from your phone whether you have a camera whether you did a screen share like I'm doing right now there's a lot of different ways but um, as far as helping people with videos and the type of channels that do help people um, one of them that's pretty good is called Marcus Brownlee you can look him up on YouTube and he basically does all kinds of tech reviews so if you look at his videos he's very helpful at showing you you know all these different functions of electronics all these different 
uh, comparisons of the different electronics, reviews, things that you might need to know before you buy them and stuff like that. So he helps you make better buying decisions, save money, get the right device that makes sense for you. Another helpful channel that I like to follow is video creators. So you look up video creators and you have people who do some great stuff on here. And basically they talk about how to build a YouTube channel, how to improve your YouTube channel, how to get good equipment and how to balance it with family life and things like that. So basically if you want the life of a YouTuber who does this professionally, that would be one of the better channels to get some education on this type of stuff. So videocreators.tv um, or the Video Creators YouTube channel. Another thing you can do is a podcast. So podcast, of course, is something that's really caught fire and gotten very popular the last few years with like the Tim Ferriss show. You have the Joe Rogan podcast. I think um, there's some other celebrities that have podcasts. Uh, Rich Roll is another good one. Um, but a podcast is basically where you listen to someone's like internet radio show. So instead of watching a video and having the visuals and all that, um, or reading text on a blog post, you have just listening to interviews, listening to people's advice, listening to people entertain you through, through comedy and things like that. So instead of listening to your car radio or music, you could listen to a podcast in your car, or you could listen to a podcast while working out. It's very good for doing other things while listening to a podcast. So a few examples, one that I like a lot is the Tim Ferriss show where he interviews basically the top performers in a lot of different industries. So he'll interview some of the best chess players of all time, some of the best UFC fighters, um, comedians, actors, business owners, all kinds of people. So he interviews them and figures out what makes them great so that you can figure out ways to apply it to your life. So it's a helpful channel. Another one is Rich Roll. So he educates you on uh, health and wellness and fitness as well as nutrition, things like that. So it's all about being healthier, living a better quality of life through fitness and nutrition. So Rich Roll, another great one. And um, you can learn a lot from these podcast episodes, and they're free to listen to. You can listen to them through SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, and some other ones as well. So if you want to start a podcast, which is basically like your little own radio show, um, you might listen to some of these to get some ideas. One of the best ways to make money off of these things is to have ad slots at the beginning and the end of your podcast. Some of them even do it in the middle, like the Entrepreneur on Fire podcast. They'll have like a slot in the middle of the podcast for ads. But it's kind of like commercials on a regular radio show, except it doesn't take as much time. You'll have one or two ads at the beginning and maybe one or two ads at the end. So you can get a lot of subscribers to these podcasts if you help people and then people will be approaching you from representing these big companies and they'll want to advertise on your podcast and you'll make money. Also, you can sell your own products, affiliate products and things like that. But if you want to start like an iTunes podcast, um, it can be hard to find. So you need to go to itunespartner.apple.com and then you need to go to the podcast section. So you would click here this little thing here, click podcast, and then it'll go to the podcast overview where you uh, can create a podcast, see what their feed and image requirements are, um, how to get accepted. Obviously, they have a little bit of a, a um, requirement list of things that you have to meet to be approved, to actually be able to host your podcast on there, but a podcast is another great way to go to help people with an internet-based business that you can do from home. 
Another thing is like a motivational or an educational social media account or multiple accounts. So if you have a Twitter profile, you could share bits of advice, stories of, you know, motivational backgrounds of celebrities or you could do, you know, tips, quotes, all kinds of different things on these and help educate people or help people um, know what's going on in the world, where the future is going, how to motivate themselves, how to achieve great things that they want to achieve and stuff like that. So one example would be like the Brainy Quote Twitter account. So you could build up a big following by doing quotes, for instance. Quotes do very well on all social media for the most part. And this is an entirely quote based brand so it's called brainy quote and you can look them up on twitter but they get a lot of traffic they make money and um, they help people so it's a great you know way of doing things another example would be like the tony robbins facebook page so you can look up tony robbins he's very good with psychology he knows why people succeed he knows why people fail and he gives you a lot of tips throughout his Facebook page as well as quotes as well as reminders of different events that can help you go to the next level and things like that so those are two examples of things you can do the way you actually make money from this is of course you can send people to your website or your channels and make money that way through ads through your own products that you sell or another thing you can do if you don't want to sell a bunch of stuff is build an email list so you can have links in some of these posts you can get a subscription to a tool like get response where basically you can pay like fifteen dollars a month and you're able to collect people's email and their name and even their phone number if you want but mostly first name and email is good enough you can collect that information and then you can market to them in the future so what you might do, you collect these emails. Um, you would have to have Git response to actually put these in a database and sort them and be able to market to them. But you need something like lead pages or some other kind of capture page creator or landing page builder, whatever you want to call it, where you can actually have people click where they enter in your email and things like that. Now. GetResponse does have things that you can embed in posts and stuff in your blog or if you have a blog and do things like that. They also have a landing page platform that you can use. So it's up to you what you do. Lead Pages is one that's great because they host it on their own servers for one thing. So it can make it easier. But um, either way, you're going to need GetResponse or AWeber or MailChimp or another service like that to collect them and sort them and then when you're collecting a lot of emails from your social media profiles you can have companies email your list and pay you to do it so if you have a big list you have a lot of people that you've helped from your social media accounts people will pay you maybe a one-time fee of five hundred dollars or one-time fee of a thousand dollars um, to email them or maybe they'll pay you by the click so however many people click on the promotional email from that company they'll pay you a few cents for each click and then that adds up so you can build a big email list and then other people will pay you to market to them that way you don't have to sell any of your own stuff but it's up to you how you do it um, building a social media profile like Brainy Quote Tony Robbins, things like that, and collecting emails is a great way to go. Number five, you can do online courses. So if you want to take it to the next level, let's say you're teaching people stuff on YouTube or your blog, if you want to teach people step-by-step -step how to do something like learn to code or build an app or how to manage their money, how to invest their money, how to do all these different things step by step with details templates things like that you might want to create a course you can make more money that way you can go more in depth that way 
And when people actually pay for something like a course, they're more likely to make it, they're more likely to take it seriously. So they want to get their money's worth. And when you sell a course like this, you are helping people. So a few places that you can sell a course, one of them would be udemy.com. Um, you can just click here, top right corner, to become an instructor. They have all kinds of different things that you can teach on here, like web development is a big deal. Um, you can teach people how to write their own book. You can teach people a lot of different things. But Udemy is one of the top ones with a lot of traffic. You can also host them on your own website, of course, but you're going to want to make sure you have a secure connection like you want to do uh, HTTPS for your website so that you don't have a bunch of people putting in their information that's not secure. Um, there's just a lot more headaches that go with hosting it on your own website. So I recommend you start out with Udemy or Teachable is another one where people can like pay a subscription and use your courses and things like that and then you get paid based on people using your course. So those are a couple places that you can host a course where you teach people like in different lessons through video how to do things. Number six, you can help people through online coaching. And so instead of actually having to meet people in person and limiting yourself to people who live nearby, you can expand your coaching online to people around the world using tools like Skype where you can do video calls and things like that through your phone, through your computer. Um, another one is Google Hangouts. You can make phone calls, message people, do video calls. You can have um, webinars and it's all for free on Google Hangouts. And that can help you communicate with people, see what they're doing so they can actually show you, you know, how they're working out so that you can help them build muscle or how they're, um, trying to learn tennis, how they swing so that you can adjust their swing based on what you see in the video. Obviously, you can email back and forth footage and things like that. And there's all kinds of things you can do, but because of things like Skype and Google Hangouts, you don't have to be there be there with them in person. Um, one person who does very well at online coaching, who makes tens of thousands of dollars a month online from things like this, Stephen James at projectlifemastery.com. He's probably one of the better people to learn this from as far as being very successful specifically with consulting and coaching. Um, so I would read this article here called Exactly How I Make Over $40,000 Per Month Online, Coaching and Consulting Part 6. So this part here, he covers nothing but coaching and consulting and what he's done over the years to be so successful at it. So this is a big part of his income. It's all online and things like that. So you can learn a lot from that. Then use tools like Google Hangouts and Skype to communicate with people. You might want to have your own website as well for attracting new clients. Number seven, you could become a software developer. So this is something that's one of the most sought after skills out there right now. If you can learn to code, you can do just about anything you want. So First off, before I give you some examples of what you could do, you need to learn programming. So if you don't know programming and you want to be like a software developer or develop apps and things like that, you need to use something like SoloLearn, which is a completely free way, way to learn to code. Now I have a YouTube video on my channel that talks about how to learn programming from your phone for free. It's titled something like that. Um, but that is a complete review of this app here called SoloLearn. And I go over how to use it, every single page on there. I'll show you a few screenshots here that are just in the Google Play Store. It is also available for Apple if you have an iPhone, but it's on your phone. It allows you to learn code on the go. It has the major languages. You can do one specifically for a certain language, or you can have the the uh, original solo learn app that has all of them so you learn basic concepts what's basically used for you learn easy functions you take quizzes 
you learn little bits, you take a quiz, you try it yourself, you do your own coding, you can ask questions in a community, you can level up and kind of show your experience on the app. Um, so this is like this is an example of when you're doing it yourself to kind of practice. Um, you can do challenges where you compete against someone else, play like games against each other where you're programming. Um, there's it's just a really nice app. It's very well done, very helpful to a lot of people. So I'm always willing to share this with others and recommend it. But um, Solo Learn, one of the best tools that you can use to learn programming for free. Um, so if you want to build like an app and you don't want to learn a bunch of coding, for instance, you want to build an app that helps people, you can do something like appypy.com. So that allows you to create an app. It's an app builder specifically for apps. And um, you can do that without learning as much coding. It's kind of a drag and drop interface and things like that. If you want to sell your software or maybe you created themes for a WordPress site, maybe you created plugins for WordPress sites, maybe you created some sort of software, um, you can sell those on the Envato market, which is at market.envato.com. You can see how to spell Envato there. And they have all kinds of different areas where you can sell stuff, um, where you can sell graphics and vectors, you can sell stock photography, 3D models, stock music and audio, graphics, plugins, code, mobile apps and stuff like that, website templates and themes. So you can sell all kinds of stuff through your programming through there. Another helpful business for people that, you know, we're going to need more and more of these types of uh, entrepreneurs, but we're going to need more freelancers in the future because jobs are getting automated more and more. So people are going to have to learn to create careers on their own. This may be a situation you're going to be in soon. You never know. So freelancing is a good thing to know how to do where you basically do projects by the job, but you're technically an entrepreneur. You're technically self-employed. So a few places that you can find jobs to do different types of freelancing. One would be Fiverr. That's a great place to start. All you do is click become a seller here in the top right corner. You can do marketing services, writing and translation, video, graphic design, programming, business, all kinds of stuff. So for instance, if you want to do writing and translation, you could click on that. Then you have subcategories like copywriting, blog posts, transcription, editing, all kinds of stuff. So then you can click on something there and then you can see what kind of gigs um, are out there. Maybe you can find something that's not there that you could com that you could provide um, a high quality service for. Another thing you, you can do is Upwork. So Upwork.com, one of the top most highly trafficked freelancing sites out there. You can go up there, click become a freelancer. This will green and white button up here in the top right corner. They have a lot of similar um, categories as well, but they tend to attract higher end clients. So people will have more money to spend usually on Upwork than they do on Fiverr, which is usually cheaper gigs. Um, Upwork, you can do prototypes for products. You can do apps for people. You can do virtual assistant work. You can do a lot of different things on Upwork. You just have to build your profile, figure out how much you want to make, or figure out how much you can make and still get jobs. And then you can apply for jobs that are available based on your skills. So, you know, freelancing is always something that's going to be needed, and it applies to pretty much every industry. Number nine is becoming a virtual assistant. So if you want to help business owners, CEOs, people who just don't have time to do everything themselves, um, make their life easier, then you can help people as a virtual assistant. And sometimes you can even have multiple clients depending on what their needs are. You can do it by the job or you can work specifically for a certain person and be their personal virtual assistant. But um, you can do most virtual assistant stuff online, which is why it's called a virtual assistant. So one place you can find jobs as a virtual assistant is at 
virtualassistants.com, which is a job board for virtual assistants. So it's specifically for that only. And if you want to become a virtual assistant, you can find stuff here. Another thing you can do is join like a virtual assistant um, group um, or like a firm. So basically you would work with other virtual assistants and if you were sick one day there'd be another virtual assistant that would be your backup that would still get the stuff done. Otherwise if you're just a lone ranger virtual assistant, let's say you have your own site and you're doing virtual assistant work on your own and you're like a personal assistant to somebody then if you get sick or something happens to you or you lose internet or something then they don't get their stuff done because there's no backup. So I recommend either, you know, doing like per job type stuff like on a job board or through like freelance sites as a virtual assistant or joining a firm like Brickwork India, which is one of the top ones you may remember them from the 4-hour work week book, but if you join a firm, you can actually have other people that can take your place if you need to take a vacation or something. So when it comes to helping people, one of the absolute biggest things that you can do to make an impact on the world while making money is investing in small businesses or startups. So one place you can do this is called AngelList, where you become an angel investor. You can invest in startups, you can post jobs, you can find startup jobs, whatever. But the main point of this video, of course, is to start a business and help people. So investing in startups is something that you can do to help these people who just need the capital to build that next big business that can help millions of people. They just need people to believe in them and invest in them. So Angel and Angel List is one great place to do that where you can invest in all kinds of start startups. Another place you can do this is similar, which is called WeFunder. WeFunder.com allows you to also invest in people who are trying to create the next big inventions and stuff like that, like flying cars and you know who knows what else. But if you want to make an impact on the world and help these small businesses thrive, and create products that can actually solve problems in the world, Focus on investing on those types of businesses that solve a problem and um, you can really feel good about what you're doing and make good money from it. Last but not least, somewhat similar to investing is peer-to-peer um, -peer money lending. So basically, you're being a personal bank for somebody um, or a group of people or you and a group of people of other lenders are pitching in for loans for people so that you can get interest back. But these people may not be able to get loans from banks or just don't want to deal with banks and all their paperwork and stuff. So you might do something like Lending Club. So LendingClub.com allows you to loan money to people. You can invest in these people who need loans. Basically, you're acting as uh, part of like a bank and you're lending directly to people who pay payments and then you can make in many cases if this goes well you can make you know two or three times as much as you would make say investing in the S&P 500 or another index fund on the stock market so lending club like I said they're not a bank you are investing and helping people get loans without them having to go through all these banks. So if you want to learn more about Lending Club, still one of the best guides out there, which is also like a case study of somebody who's experimented and done this, is at MrMoneyMustache.com, and that is just MrMoneyMustache.com. So you can go there and read about the Lending Club experiment where he shares a lot of details of what he actually did to do this and 
he uh, earned things like 10% annual returns and stuff like that. So, you know, great returns. You know, you might get 3% or something like that, 5% on stock market if it's a good year. But you can get more than that through Lending Club if you just be careful and do things the right way. So I would definitely check out this guide here, the Lending Club Experiment at MrMoneyMustache.com if you want to try peer-to-peer -peer lending. But a lot of people will really appreciate you doing this. You can make good money. So other than that, that's it for this video. If you feel like you learned something from this video, if you feel like you got some good ideas for how you can start a business that's still home-based, that helps a lot of people, then please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video or let me know about some other ways that you can start a business that is internet-based, that you can do from home, that actually solves problems and helps people better their lives, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you, get some more ideas to share with viewers. And also, as far as show notes and related content to this video, I have all of that at one page for you at selfmadesuccess.com in the coming days. And I'll get a link to that page in the description for you as well. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you, and I hope you have a great day.